historically, throughout all of human history up until about 1960 or 1970, the human species and the total human endeavor on the planet was small relative to the size of, of the planet and the natural resources that it provides. But through the 20th century, as we grew, and as we uh, industrialized every economy around the world, in effect, and grew in population numbers, the total scale of the human endeavor became so, so large that we were just overwhelming the planet. The challenge is recognizing that the planet has finite resources. If you live in a tiny apartment in a big city, it's easy to think that you have a minimal impact on the planet. We need to address the quantity of material and energy that we're pumping through the economy. I mean, that's the bottom line. We are over-consuming right now. We're about in a 50% overshoot situation. We're consuming resources 50% faster than they can be regenerated. And we just simply can't keep doing that. So we've got to get a handle on that. We will, in fact, have two deep, too significant of a physical impact on our environment as long as there are six or seven or eight or nine billion of us here. Uh, that's simply the fact of the matter. What is required is that we have true gender equality, that if we keep girls in school, give them the education, the same education that boys receive. If we empower women, educating a girl is the right thing to do. Banning child marriage is the right thing to do. For global efforts to uh, educate women on birth control and have access to birth control, because the numbers really do say that when they have access to it, that the families, the size will go down because they'll have safer pregnancies and safer births. So that's a step in the right direction, especially for countries where the birth rates are high. What a world we could have if we weren't super consumers if we spent a lot more time relaxing, drinking, making love, and so on, rather than trying to buy more crap all the time.